A glance at our index.html markup will show that we're using the same HTML tags several times. The nav elements used twice, first for the user and admin navigation area, and then for the favorites list. And within these two nav areas, we have ul and li tags, and for the moment we have nothing to distinguish them. We need to know now how to distinguish the same element name being used in different parts of the document. We do this in the HTML by assigning ID or class names to the elements using ID equals or class equals. IDs are used to define an element as unique on the page, and the same ID name must not be used twice on the same page. We could give a section element the ID main, and then we cannot use the ID main again. To apply styling to an element identified with an ID, in the CSS file, we prefix the selector name with a hash symbol. To apply the same styling to a set of elements which recur several times on the page, we cannot use IDs, because they, as we've seen, can only occur once. Instead, we use classes, with class equals in the HTML. In the CSS, to apply styling to elements identified with a class, we prefix the selector name with a dot. So in this example, we would, in one go, apply the same styling to all the images with the class name Thumbnail. There's a useful link in the bookmarks to an article at cssstricks.com explaining the difference between IDs and classes. IDs are very powerful when we apply styling to them, overriding styles applied to classes. This can cause unwanted effects and be a nuisance. So basically, I avoid using IDs for visual styling. I use only classes for this. I reserve IDs for the job of identifying the function of particular elements, for instance, by giving an ID number to refer to a particular user's ID in the database. And I use classes for my visual styling. We can also target our styles exactly by using selectors which combine the HTML element name and the class or ID name in one selector. In our project, we're going to have unordered lists distinguished by class name, one for selecting users, and one to navigate to the admin pages. We target these in the CSS by concatenating the element name, UL, and the class selector with its dot, with no space between them. We can also style an item only when it occurs inside another tag, using parent-child selectors. In this case, the outer, the containing element, comes first in the selector, and the inner element, the child selector, follows, with a space between them. Here's another link to the very useful website cssstricks.com, where Chris Coyer explains multiple class and ID selectors. These various types of selector allow for pinpoint accuracy in styling. You just have to take care and remember that a list of separate selectors, being styled alike, is separated by commas. A combination selector, targeting an HTML element which has an ID or class name applied to it, has the element name and class or ID name concatenated together, with no space. And finally, a parent-child selector, targeting one item inside another, has a space in between the parent selector and its child. Now we can go on adding classes to our HTML to distinguish the various elements, and after that we can begin styling the basic layout of the page.